everybody, this is Cindy, and I just wanted to show you these stash buster kits I put together. I've been going through a lot of my stash and deciding, you know, I can never use up all this stuff. So I just put it together in some kits, and maybe it'll help out some people that are interested in trying some things but don't want to buy a whole lot of something. For instance, you want to dabble with uh, napkins, but you don't want to buy a package of 20 napkins, and um, you just want to have a few napkins, something like that. So anyway, I put together these kits, and... A lot of the kits have the same elements, and but there are some things that are different. So I'm gonna go through two different kits and we'll kinda of see what's the same in all of them and what's different. They all will have some of this mesh and the colors will be different. And I see this one's purple and I think it's about a yard of it. And I use this, sometimes I'll cover the spine of a book with it because you can still see the spine through but it kind of gives it a little bit of a finish. And this stuff is also great for um, doing uh, clusters and collage work and stuff like that. So anyway, throw in some of that. And <clears throat> each one will have a zipper which is caught, there we go. Here's the zipper on this one. Some will be short and some will be long. So there's a the zipper. Each one will have a piece of lace. Um, this one has this lace, I think you can see it. And the other ones will have a piece of, of eyelet. So we either have this or a piece of eyelet lace, of eyelet fabric almost. Everyone will have a piece of this, I think it was a tablecloth, and you can see it's got uh, the crochet medallions in there, so everybody has a square with that. Everybody has a set of ribbons and uh, trims, I guess you would call it. Um, there's 12 of them, and they're each a foot long, so 12 inches. So there's eyelash trim and just ribbon, and then this trim here. And um, <clears throat> there's some red velvet ribbon, some twill tape, this sheer pink, and there's some uh, burgundy ribbon, a velvet ribbon. So anyway, you got 12 pieces of that. Every kit will have a bag of what I'm calling the findings bag. It's uh, got, and each bag will be a little different, but there's buttons in here, there's brads, there's eyelets, there's puzzle pieces and um, beads, and then just different things like that little button there and little metal findings, like there's part of an earring with some uh, bling on it. So just different things. So each one will have a little bag of goodies like that. And then the larger items, each will have a foot of, or 12 inches of this mesh. And someone had told me it's what's left over after they punch out sequins. But what I use it for is like, I'll cut a little piece of it to use it at the back of a collage or a cluster. And also I use it as a stencil because it makes great little, um, kind of like, um, not quite beehive, but kind of like that, the little circles. So it's pretty cool for that. I've included 12 inches of this uh, stiffener that they, someone told me they use it to stiffen up curtains. And it's, it's a fabric, really, because you can see the uh, woven threads, but it's very stiff. It could work also in uh, collage work and clusters and things like that. You can also stamp on this very well and make pockets out of it and that sort of thing. So you got a foot of that to work with. I've included a uh, strip of wallpaper border. This will be different forever. You know, some will have the same wallpaper border, some will have different. These two things will be the same in every kit. Everybody gets two pages of this uh, vintage music, the large pages of music. Everybody will get a package of some sort of uh, ribbon or trim that's unopened. So this is uh, just happens to be some sheer purple ribbon. Some will get bias tape, seam binding, just whatever I had that you know had not been opened. And then uh, everybody will get a bag. Most of them will have these dental bags that I got at a garage sale, and a few people will have. I you know didn't have enough of these bags, so I used an old uh, pattern envelope. So inside the bag, you'll have, everybody will get a vintage cookbook, or booklet, I'm calling them, and there'll be all different um, shapes. Some will be large, some will be small, some will be like specialty foods and just different things, but each one of those will be different. Everybody gets one of these envelopes, which is, to me, it looks like it's made from mulberry paper. It's like a taupe colored envelope, so everybody gets one of those. Everybody gets... A piece of this I call it homemade paper it's um, got the rose petals in it and it was part of making invitations because you tied a bow here where the holes are at so everybody gets one of those everybody gets two sheets double page spread of this old French cookbook and the writings in French 
everybody gets two sheets of this old music. It's a double page spread. Everybody gets a sheet from this old uh, cookbook. And everybody gets two sheets of vellum that went with the uh, wedding invitation. You can see the holes where you tie the bow. Everybody gets one of these index dividers. And everybody gets six greeting cards. Some are new, some are old, some have envelopes, some don't. Like this is a Christmas one, it's fairly new, it's got its envelope. This is a vintage one, a get well card, and it does not have its envelope. This one was a money holder, which I kind of like because it had this metallic on there. Definitely could do something with that. Here's a newer card. It's got the envelope. I think it's a blank card. Yep, blank. Here's a vintage Holly Hobby one. I had several of these Holly Hobby cards. And here's a vintage happy, is it happy birthday? Yeah. So six greeting cards, and then there's also six napkins, and these will vary uh, with the kits. But I had a lot of these, a lot of the birds. I had a lot of these, these, and these. And I have some, a couple of extras that I'm probably just gonna throw in, but I'm not gonna show, because that's just gonna be like the extra little thing, because in case I miscount and only give you like five napkins or, um, uh, say five greeting cards and I'm including some extra things to kind of make up for anything I miscount on. You also will get one of these index dividers from the five ring binders that Better Homes and Garden puts out. This one is on their decorating one. Some will be the gardening one. And these you now obviously can be um, collaged on and decorated on and used in your journals. You also get a small bag that's made out of a book page and inside of it will be the smaller items. There's four tags cut out of scrapbook paper. That was two of them. You get three vintage playing cards. I like these because it's got the big uh, letters and numbers. So three of those. You get a medallion. Uh, applique. You get two stamped images on fabric. You'll get three of these. Willidex cards, they're kind of like a Rolodex, except they came before Rolodex and they only had the one hole. You'll get three of these recipes that's been trimmed from something. It was in an old recipe box I bought. So there's three of these. We'll find the other two in a minute. You get a strip of tickets. You'll get two note uh, papers from a notepad. These look like rulers, and these look like a Scrabble game, but they're just from a notepad. You get two just guest checks. I included those because if you want to do guest checks, the only way I found them is buying like a pack that costs like $7, so I included a few just to play around with. A bingo card, it's not vintage, but we all know how to make it look vintage. Here's the other two uh, tags cut out of scrapbook paper, and the other two uh, old recipes cut from something that was in that recipe box. And everybody gets uh, this post-it note that looks like an airmail envelope. Thought that was kind of fun. And everybody gets a envelope that had our pocket or what? Yeah, envelope that had guitar strings in it. So I guess that's everything. So that's what this kit contains. And I'm going to show you another one, which is a lot very similar, but you can just see what some of the differences are. So let's go through it real quick. has the same mesh, and this one just happens to be purple as well. And it's got the same 12 ribbons that are sticking to my mesh. Here's the uh, eyelet I was talking about, eyelet fabric instead of that lace panel. You get that. There's the um, tablecloth with the pineapple medallions, the zipper, the bag of findings, and that goes with the card. Here's the two pages of music. The uh, index divider, five ring, curtain stiffener, the mesh, and wallpaper border. This one has the dental bag as well. And like I said, some have uh, do not have this. They have a, a pattern envelope. There's your two sheets of vellum. This one I threw in another one because that one was kind of torn. And there's your two pages of French cookbook and two pages of music. 
the uh, one page from the vintage cookbook. And this is part of your uh, cards, greeting cards. There's one, there's two, there's the third one with envelope. And there's the fourth one. Not sure where the other two are at. Maybe they're in that other bag. There's that index holder. And there's your mulberry envelope and your homemade paper. There's two of the envelopes. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, there's another one of your greeting cards, and this one's definitely vintage from 1949. There's the uh, airmail envelope, the guitar strings, the two guest checks, the bingo card, and this one I put in some uh, recipe cards. And then I also have these two, or these three, that are from that recipe box, vintage ones. There's your three Willidex cards. And there's your three vintage playing cards, large numbers and letters. There is your two stamped images and your applique. Here's the four punched out tags. They're all white on the back. And there's one of those and two of these and the tickets. Now, since there's only one of these, no, there's two of these. I think it's, uh, we're missing some of the napkins, so I will find the missing napkins and include them, but there should be six. And uh, if, like I said earlier, if I miscount something, I'm making up for it by adding some extra items in. So anyway, these are gonna be for sale on my Etsy shop, Books by Burke. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I found the missing napkins. <laughs> oh yeah, this too. So there's your napkins. That one, the flamingos, and then this pretty one. And there's another one, your greeting cards. And then there's the unopened package for this one. It's some ribbon. So anyway, there's a variety of items, and it's going to be for sale in my Etsy shop, Books by Burke. So thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.